The bearskin coat is ours. We're armed with bow and arrow. Blackrock calls to us at last. And this is definitely not where I left off with you after episode 95. What's going on? Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. So, yesterday's episode, which did not air, which is actually this episode right now, I recorded about five minutes of it, and then there was a noise interruption. Very rarely happens, but unfortunately... I did get interrupted, and I had to stop recording because it was a very loud noise, and I had to see what it was. It wasn't from inside my house, but it was nearby, and uh, that happened. And when I finally was able to come back and finish recording, a little bit over an hour later, I realized that the first few minutes of recording had been completely without audio. Somehow managed to mute the game audio again. Don't know how it happened this time, but I just thought to myself, okay, well, I can either use that footage and have continuity and have five minutes of, you know, gameplay where I step upstairs, sleep, rest a little bit, wake up the next morning, having just made the bearskin coat, and then edit together with a new recording from the moment that I get that rest done, or I could just start a new recording. <laughs> So that's what I did. One thing I want to cover is that I am no longer wearing the moosehide cloak. So we are wearing the wolfskin coat and the bearskin coat. Because these are the items that are giving me the most warmth. And in theory, they're also maybe giving me a little bit more scariness. Because these are the two predators that I'm wearing. And I'm leaving the moosehide cloak behind. We are going to leave it in a place where it's very obviously accessible in the future. Not that I necessarily plan on coming back to Pleasant Valley, like, very soon. But we'll leave it there. And we will get going. As I've mentioned, I've only been to Black Rock once. And that was when its respective episode dropped. I have not been to Black Rock beyond that. So it's a pretty exciting time for me. Because I get to explore a brand new area for me, of the Long Dark, that I have very little experience with. Even less experience than I've had with, say, HRV or Ash Canyon. And there are timber wolves, which, you know, that just makes everything better, right? All right, so we've got a couple of wolf pelts. We've got these deer hides here. I guess one thing I'll note real quick. We've got the four maple saplings, two wolf pelts. Is that just two? Yeah, it's just two. Two cured guts. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not just two. Yeah, I have these as well. So it's four. Let's open my notes back up. Oh, that's no longer true. All right, so... And then we have the what? Perfect. All right. So that is everything. I've got a lot of cloth on me. I have a lot of feathers on me. More feathers than I need, to be honest. I've got some burdock root. I've got a good amount of rose hips so I can make some tea as needed. And also, I believe in the fridge here, I had some cattails. I had some sticks. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh, do I need any of the rest of this? I rather doubt it. Let's go ahead and drop the cedar firewood. And then drop, say, eight of the sticks. So we're down to 15. Just th so that we have enough for a snow shelter if I really need it. I'm not feeling like it's going to be necessary, but... And now we just make sure that we have everything. I've got the cooking pot. I've got the skillet. I'm also, like, in my head, I'm making sure that I'm covering things that I might have covered in those first few minutes of recording. The main thing is that I compared the the items that I was wearing, as I said we were going to do at the end of the last one, and just decided that this is the way I was going to go. Because primarily they, they, they do have the most warmth, but also there is that possibility that, you know, they'll scare off predators a little bit more by virtue of being made from predators. Which is actually a thing. 
It's actually in the description of the item, if I recall correctly. Let me see. We'll keep you warm and remind wolves that they should keep their distance. Not the way the wolf expected to end up. So there's more to that description than simply what meets the eye. Oh, wow. Are we back in blizzard mode here? It seemed like it was going to be okay, but now maybe... Maybe I need to rest for a few more hours. I guess we'll do that then. I guess we'll do that, and then we'll definitively leave, because we'll be ready to go. Let's just sleep until this storm is completely blown over. There we go. That sounds a little better. And it's midday. So really optimal timing to be doing this. Not even fully midday either. All right, let's go ahead and chow down on some bear meat. Gonna leave most of this behind, which makes me sad. But at the same time, I've got some cattails for the road. I'm fully expecting to find more. Let's go. All right, I do need to be mindful of the fact that the bear might have respawned. I kind of doubt it, but we'll keep an eye on that possibility. I feel like bear respawn is much slower in general than wolf respawn. But there are still, there might not be now on account of that storm, but there are still three wolves over there. <laughs> this is actually where I was walking when I was recording the second part of that attempted episode yesterday and realized that I didn't have audio in the game. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm just not going to record this right now. I'm going to come back when less frustrating things are happening. Alright, so all three of those wolves are right there. I rather doubt there's a fourth. We only have one full cylinder, six cartridges loaded in our revolver. That's it. No more, no less. It's a little bit unnerving to think about. I'm also getting pretty cold pretty fast, which is upsetting. It makes sense, given the weather, but it's still upsetting. Nothing in the mailbox. All right. Let's head down the road. We might actually have the opportunity up here, possibly, maybe, if I'm thinking about it correctly, we might have the opportunity to look for a few more cattails. I see some bunnies over there. Oh, this is so nice. Don't get me wrong. It's been nice to have, you know, the farmstead locked down and have all that bear meat for several episodes and to be getting ready for, you know, the next kind of phase of the series. But at the end of the day, I think we can all agree this is a game that you really play and watch when there's a sense of movement. It's not meant to be played in a sedentary fashion. Starting not for too long. That's why Cabin Fever is a thing. It's literally why it's in the game. So that players don't hunker down for too long. But at the same time, one of the things that's being added in the Tales from the Far Territory updates this year is the possibility to customize your environment to a degree. Not build bases per se, but like to add a sense of personalization, personalization, excuse me, to the game as you play. To add a sense of kind of the ability to repair the environment to a degree as you live in it, which I really like. Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment here. Yeah. I, rather than walk along the road here, I'm going to walk along the... Oh, I see some cattails right there. Let me backtrack a little. We haven't been to this particular section of the river, so it makes sense that I'm going to spot cattails. It is unfortunately pretty cold. One thing I may need to do is find a car and, like, sleep in it for an hour just to regain some warmth. Okay. 
It is frustrating that we got this cold this quickly. We're not even out of Pleasant Valley yet. We're already losing condition. But hey, we don't call it against all odds for nothing, do we? No, we do not. Good talk. More cattails. Excellent. This is all food for the road. If you're just jumping in with the series, I am, of course, with every cattail that I pick, I am taking the stalk and leaving the head because I no longer need tinder. Speaking of which, am I carrying any? All right, good. Every now and then I'll just have accidental tinder. It's worth keeping an eye on. You know what else is worth keeping an eye on? The possibility that there might be a wolf or a bear, like, on this section of the road. I kind of doubt it, but I would still like not to be caught off guard by that. Um, I'm gonna... I know the end of the river, so to speak, is there, but I'm gonna step up here first because I feel like there's a car that I... Yep. Right there. Right there. And we need that for a couple of reasons. I do want to just, like, see if there's anything inside. Oh, wow. Still cold. 18 degrees. So, not even my bedroll will help me out there. I will not be able to warm up in this car. That's a shame. Okay. Nothing else here. Wow. All right, then. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. Notice how much... <laughs> Look at the length of my... Sp uh, sprint meter specifically. I have so little, like there's maybe 45% of my total sprint capacity is still available to me. There's another car. Yeah, so we're officially entering... Oh, I have to leave Pleasant Valley right now? Just kidding, can't get to that car. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, we're officially entering a part of the game that I've maybe only been in once before, and definitely not on the channel, so... Yay. Good stuff. Temperature here seems the same as it was in Pleasant Valley. Doesn't seem particularly different. Alright. Nothing here. Alright, I'm gonna grab that stick. I'm gonna look down here for some cattails real quick. Oh, hello! Whoa, ho, ho, ho. was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. A little bit of thin ice. Now, as I recall, there are actually some structures not too far away. So there's that to look forward to. I, <laughs> yeah, that, that just almost happened. I cannot believe my first steps into this new area were to almost fall into the water. But that's one of the things that makes these newer regions more exciting. One of the reasons I stepped out so confidently onto that ice there is that in earlier regions of the Long Dark, the ones that we're all most familiar with, that's never thin ice. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> thin ice doesn't work that way. Alright, it's actually getting colder. Oh, that's a wolf. That's a wolf that sees me. Wait, how did you see me so quickly? It's very interesting. Are you coming? Okay, there you are. Honestly, we might just light a fire by this wolf's corpse after I shoot it in the face. Come on, let's get this over with. Not corpse, but carcass. Alright, so let's, uh... Light a fire here. You know what, that's a little bit too much directly underneath me. Let's not do that. Wood match. Stick. Let's get a fire going. Because we kind of need one at this point. Oh, don't tell me the wind is kicking up right now. That's rude. Come on, little fire. 
I do have some coal on me. So that'll help it get a lot warmer a lot faster. And that's the beauty of coal. Alright, now I do need some meat. So what I could do is... Whoa, what happened to my knife? Oh, yeah. All that work. All that work. Making the bear skin really took a chunk out of that knife. That caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. All right, well, it seems like the weather is actually clearing a little bit. So let's pass time until these are ready. Let's eat this one. And then I'll leave this one here. And I'm not going to worry about anything else. I think that's, that's enough. Although I might go ahead. I think this makes sense. With the time I've got left on this water, let's, or the, on this fire, let's go ahead and make some water. Nice. Hypothermia risk is completely gone. Take that. How much water do I have now? That's enough. This gear. Let's eat the last of this wolf meat. All right, good. It's gone. Let's drink that. Now I'm a little bit encumbered. I keep hearing noises that I can't explain, and it's unnerving me. All right. Oh, you know what? There are some other things I could do here. Absolutely, and I'm going to. A couple things I could do. First of all, we're going to heat up this reishi tea. Or you know what? Even better. Even better. Let's prepare some rose hips. It's going to take 15 minutes. I have 15 minutes. Let's take those 15 minutes. Let's drink that rose hip tea. Get the warmth bonus. And then take a torch. Ha! Take that world temperature. In your face. Alright, so we're going to take a look in the bed of this truck. There can sometimes be things under the snow, so it's worth checking, even if it doesn't appear that you see anything. The more you know. And now we head farther down the road. And I can grab some other sticks on the way. is about what I was expecting to see. So the penitentiary is that way. We've got some structures here. Exciting because the implication is of course new stuff. It's been a while since we've been to any man-made areas like this. Check the firewood bin. Cedar firewood, nice. Stick. Pop in here. Glove box. Stale chocolate bar. Uh, nothing else here. Two pieces of cloth, which is exactly what was in the previous trunk that I opened. That's kind of interesting. That's called loot table copy pasta. Okay. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Of course, the first thing I see is spray paint. <sighs> Screw you, game. Why would you do that? That's so rude. Frickin' spray paint, man. The bane of my existence.
Oh man, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Just like that feeling of being new to a region in the long dark and not really knowing what you're going to see when you turn your head various directions. Like, like, it, it's, it's so great. It's so great. All right, let's step back outside. Now, the penitentiary is that way. There are some additional cars over here. I just want to be mindful of the fact that, you know, there could be <laughs> more wolves in the area than just the one that I said hi to already. Hi, bunny. How's it going? How you doing? Two cloth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's three for three. Painkillers and a chocolate bar. Okay, so the loot table is not identical, identical, because I'm getting additional things in the cars themselves. But the trunks so far have been identical. Alright. What, what was that rabbit running from? He just ran across in front of me. And I just, I don't want to assume that that was just me. It's possible that it was just me, but at the same time, could have been something much worse. Scenic view, huh? Oh, nice. There is a little scenic view platform down here. Barrel? Oh, cool. Alright. It's not actually a container. It can just be broken down. Backpack? Wow. I wonder... Is that... I'm not going to try to get down there. Actually, it does look like... It looks like it's accessible. And I see... Birds circling over there, so... It seems at least plausible to assume that one can get down there. Especially if you go over that direction. Do I want to explore now or later, though? Because it's like, I either go this way... You know what? No. Let's let's head towards Black Rock. We've been waiting a long time. It's all exploration, baby. We're going in... a couple of different possible directions here. But no matter which way we go... Oh, there's some wolves down there, too. Okay, so that pretty much confirms it. You can definitely have... You can definitely get down there. I would love to explore here a little bit more. But I'm actually excited to get to a section of the world where... Hang on, I'm going to look up this direction real quick just to kind of get lay of the land. But I'm excited to get to an area of the world where there's a lot more to be discovered in terms of, like, structures. So that's what I'm going to go for. That's the direction in which I am going to lean. What's back here? Aha! A route down to the water, maybe? Or maybe not. Yeah, I don't know if this would go all the way down. Or if it goes all the way down, I don't know if I would actually like the situation that I was in there. Given what happened the last time I stepped onto the ice here, I'm going to avoid that. We're going to not do that. How many sticks do I have? 19. Alright, I've got enough if I need to make a snow shelter somewhere. I'm also encumbered. Which kind of annoys me. I'm significantly encumbered, actually. It's primarily this, the cedar firewood, and maybe, like, partly the sticks. Okay. <laughs> it 
immediate faster movement. Not that the stuff I just dropped was weighing me down hugely, but clearly it was making a difference as I pick up more sticks. One of the nice things about once I get to the penitentiary itself, I think I'll be able to keep my stick supply a little bit lighter. I'll be able to walk around less encumbered. So I don't think I'm actually in... This is a transition region. I don't think I'm actually in the Black Rock Zone yet. What kind of crows are those? Carrion crows? Those sound like carrion crows. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. You might have mentioned it. Also, I'm a little annoyed that there's this much fog right now. Like, really? You're going to give me this much fog right now. Right now of all times. You couldn't have waited? You couldn't have, like, given it a little more time? I'm going to go up this way real quick, because I feel like... Something else is going on over here. Potentially other wolves, too, so I need to be careful. In particular, because my hands are about to get cold and shaky. Alright, I see a reishi mushroom. I won't pass up that opportunity. But will I pass up this one? The answer is no, I will not. Okay, well... Oh, so cold. How much farther back does this go? No predators. Alright. Let's go back towards the road. I don't want to stay in this situation for too long. Honestly, there's a part of me that wants to go back to where I dropped that firewood and just use it to make a fire and hunker down by it for a moment. That could be a good... Hello? Did I just hear a wolf? I feel like I just heard a wolf. But not nearby. Like, somewhat distant. Is this a cave? Not really. Alright, so there's the truck. I'm going to keep going this way. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is completely demolished. Is there anything to be found here? Doesn't seem like it. That is a very purple truck. I approve. My inner Roman approves. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, now I'm officially confused. Because evidently we're meant to... We're meant to be out here? Alright, that wolf definitely smelled my bear skin. Okay, so this path is laid out directly in front of me after I cross that section. So maybe... Yeah, now I'm officially lost, because I just thought I would follow the road. But I clearly am not meant to just follow the road. I don't know where you are, but you're close, and I don't like it. Also, this seems like it'll be thin ice. Oh, maybe not. 
the toe? Why is it called the toe? I really need a fire. I should light a fire. I'm just hoping, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to find like a cave of some kind. But I can also use this to my advantage. So let's do that. I could do without the fog. Everything else is fun. I could do without the fog. The fog is fine on any other day, but on this particular day, on this particular day, I, uh, I want to be able to see things because I'm exploring this area for the first time. Please and thanks. Okay, apparently I can't put the bedroll down out here. Fair enough. So what I'll do instead... Let's pop that down. And I'll heat up one of the reishi teas that I have on me. We'll drink it. Get the calories. Replenish thirst a little bit. And I'm going to pass time by this fire until I'm fully warm. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Ooh, it's actually getting dark. I didn't notice that. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. I need to be mindful of the fact that this ice might turn thin on me. I don't know. I might have to double back. I don't feel like I'm really... Hello? I don't feel like I'm really seeing a path out of here. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, all right, hold on. All right, so they just took my arrow. It's very rude. Uh, bandages? Hello? There they are. I don't know why I didn't see them. Ah. Uh. Really? You're going to wander around here now like nothing just, like nothing happened? That's how you're going to do me? Or is that a different wolf? Is that what's happening? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... I said it was on the neck, which means my rabbit skin items just took a hit. That's unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. Okay, well, that did not go well. I don't know quite what to do. I'm still warm enough, thankfully, because it's the end of the day. And there might be another path out of here that I have to discover. And I'll find it, but for now, I just got attacked by a wolf. That was supposed to stop by that torch, by the way. That's a mechanic I'm going to have to study more, because obviously I don't use that trick very often. It kind of annoys me. But, like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the road I came in on. Yeah, this is the road I came in on. All right, I see a climb spot there, though. Maybe there's a cave up here. I use that trick so infrequently, I don't even know what the hotkey is for dropping the torch. Because I don't. I just, I don't... I, I throw torches when I'm done with them. But I literally, like, that's just not something I've done a lot with, like, dropping a flare or a torch in front of a wolf as it approaches to get it to, uh... Oh, I know where this goes. Sun is setting. Gonna get a lot colder soon. Oh, this is handy, actually. This is gonna take me right back to where that wood was. Okay. 
Because I feel like when I throw the torch down, whether it's a flare, torch, wolf doesn't care. Wolf does not care. Okay. It was a little bit farther down the road, I think, where I dropped some stuff. But it should be visible to me. Yep, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab that again, because you never know. At this point, I might need it for a fire. But let me double back. That wolf should be wounded, by the way. Wait. Hello? Holy crap! It ran all the way up here. So that that other wolf that was wandering around down there, that was a, that was a second wolf that was just in the area. Well, I got my arrow back at least. There's that. And now the fog is clearing with the sun going down. Love that. Love everything about it. It's great. So I need to step inside here and investigate my condition. All right, that way goes to Milton. Excuse me? Excuse me. All right, we're going to check. We're going to check two things right now. <laughs> uh, what is it? Just is it the drop D quickie? That's normally for dropping meat, but I suppose maybe... I don't know. There isn't even a an isn't even an entry for it, unfortunately. Okay. That aside, we've got a save point. Let's also take a look at this stuff. That's not bad. The struggle wasn't that long, so my stuff didn't really get hurt, thankfully. Uh, it looks like the underwear is back down to somehow my underwear is back down to ninety percent condition, even after I repaired it both. I repaired both of those all the way up to hundred, or maybe I didn't. Maybe that was something I did after I started trying to come back and then decided to re-record this today. Because I, I just backed out of that recording and, and didn't use it. So yeah, maybe that's what it was. Well, in that case, I will work on that at the beginning of the next episode, and then we will continue exploring this area and finding our way towards Blackrock in the episodes to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes, badges, and other perks. Sorry. That's a really good stretch. New episodes are coming out every day, but Wednesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, and comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.